slice this up real quick. Okay. Slice this guy, you make your slice. Flip it over, I'm gonna go to the other side. Like this. <laughs> I think I didn't see that. Sit. <laughs> Sit. Remember that on me. Right in there, guys. Just like that. what's up guys welcome back to the channel in the kitchen with your girl nikki and mike today mike is going to be prepping some beautiful fresh striped bass mike what you got for them today Oh, like she said, guys, I have freshly caught striped bass. Went fishing today. This is what I got. Some of you might know I fish every day, guys. So we're going to move right along. I'm going to tell you what you need to cook this up. First, we have some minced garlic. We have some sea salt. We have some fresh parsley, some green onions. We have some thyme, two tablespoons of canola oil, a lemon, and, of course, Two nice, freshly caught fillets, black pepper, and some butter. Guys, we're going to get right into this. We're going to start cooking it up. All right, guys, here you go. Like I said, I have freshly caught striped bass. What I'm going to do, guys, I wrenched off the striped bass. So I'm going to take and pat this baby dry, just like this, guys. All right? Remove any uh, the excess water, I guess, from it. I guess maybe I should put a paper towel under it, huh? And pat it dry just like that. See how nice these fillets are, guys? This is freshly caught fish. For the most part, guys, if you follow the channel, most of the fish that we use will be freshly caught. I suggest using your freshest fish that you can find, and it'll be just fine. So all we're going to do now is just take and season this bad boy up. Just going to use a little salt and pepper. Is what the recipe calls for. Salt. I said I have some sea salt here. Just gonna sprinkle the sea salt on, just like you see right here. And guys, if you watch this channel, guys, you know we can't do this fish with just some salt and pepper. That's not even how we get down, right? So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to come in. 
Add some salt and pepper. I'm going to come in with some lemon pepper on this bad boy. Just like this. You don't have to use the lemon pepper. Some people like the taste of, the, I guess, maybe the mouth or the sweetness of the fish. And that's fine. Like I said, it's your kitchen. You season it how you like. All right. I'm going to come right on top of this with some garlic. Just like that. All right. And for me, I like a little bit of spice, a little bit, nothing too crazy. So I'm going to add a little cayenne pepper for the ones who watched that first video when I was talking about Kanye pepper, Kanye pepper, Kanye pepper. Just answer that question. No, Kanye West <laughs> did not make a spice. <laughs> all right. For all the ones that was there from the beginning, I'm going to go ahead and address that. Problem. If you don't know what I'm talking about, guys, you can refer back to that Obey Steam Shrimp. And you can watch me talk about Kanye and Pepper calling it Kanye all through that whole video. Go check it out, man. <laughs> Tell me what you think. So I'm going to season the back side of this. You can't season one side. I remember watching somebody say, like, oh, you could just season one side of your food. You eat both sides, oh, guys. There it is. You eat both sides. This so. is a thick fish, so you definitely, definitely want to go ahead and season both yes, sides. Yes, this is a very thick fish. As you see, salt, pepper. Remember, guys, we always talk about taking this food to flavor tell. Like I said, salt and pepper just ain't going to get it, but if that's what you like then you do that. These are extra ingredients that I like. That's why I didn't name them in the beginning of this video. But if you want to know, like I said, I'm just sprinkling it with some lemon pepper. I have some garlic powder. And I'm using a little bit of uh, cayenne pepper for a little bit of spice. So after you season your bad boy up, like I got mine seasoned up, what we're going to do is we're going to Take and warm our pan up on medium heat and do a hard cast iron. Bring it up to temperature. We're going to add three tablespoons of oil. So when my oil is hot, that fish is going to be going in, guys. Let's get it. All right, guys, before I take this to the pan, I just want to take and cut this up into smaller pieces, all right? So I'm going to cut it up like, just like this. Nice little pieces. Guys, some people get some striped bass, especially wild caught. Can be a little thicker, but let's go to the pan now. We'll talk about it. All right, guys, I got my pan nice and hot. Adding in three tablespoons of canola oil. If you want to use olive oil, uh, whatever kind of oil you like, you use it. Okay? That's it. Make sure it's all over my pan. And guys, what I did off screen, off camera, um, I added a little flour onto my striped bass. That wasn't ingredients. That's completely optional it's up to you but it was just a light light coating of flour I'm gonna show it to you there it's very light coating nothing crazy just like that and I'm gonna take my fish once this is nice and hot I'm gonna put the flesh the flesh side down just like that all right I'm going to cook that depending on how thick your fish is. I'm going to cook mine for about three to five minutes. Okay. And the reason I'm putting it on the flesh side down is I want my fish to, to stay nice and straight. All right. I found my nice little spatula. Fish don't take long, guys. So... Just like that, you guys see what it is. When I get ready to flip, I'll be right back at you. All right, guys, here we go. This fish been in for about uh, about four minutes, pushing up on five. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this. 
Um, sometimes when you catch striped bass, it's a little bit thicker, so you might want to, you know, let it cook a little bit longer. So, this is a nice white flaky fish right here. And I see on the front side, and you probably see like how it's. There you go, guys. This is a nice white flaky fish. Now we got it on the skin side. We're going to go ahead and let this cook a, another about five minutes on the back side, all right? When we get there, we'll be adding our butter and our herbs. And I'll let you know. All right, guys. So it's been cooking. I'm going to add the two tablespoons of uh, butter. Just like that. Let that melt down. I'm going to turn my heat down to low right now. Get the butter all in here. Just like that. You guys, you see what it is. If you like how this fish looks right now, ask you guys to please hit that like button. This butter smells so good. Point. I'm going to add in my minced garlic. I'm going to add in my thyme. Wow, that garlic, man, wakes up everything. I'm going to add in my fresh parsley and scallions. What you gonna do now guys? Let me get a holder. This pan gets hot. So what you're going to do is remove my, I want to baste it. I'm going to take the, just like this, so the spoon, just like this, and it's a little heavy, this cast iron, just like this, guys. Just like that, guys. You guys see what it is. This meal is pr pretty much done. You want to like make some light rice with it, whatever you want. It's up to you. Eat the fish, right? Live longer. That's pretty much it, guys. We're going to go ahead. We're going to take this to the plate. You guys see what it is. Nice, freshly caught. Striped bass, easy, easy recipe. Let's play it up. Here you go, guys. A quick, simple, simple recipe. Freshly caught striped bass. What do you guys think? If you like how this looks, guys, please hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. If you to this bell. video, guys, I always ask you to please subscribe. To the channel. <laughs> Yes. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of this lemon onto this bad boy. And you know what time it is.
Taste time. Taste time. Okay. Here we go. Nikki's going in. It's that crunchy, crispy skin under there. Sorry, y'all. Nice white mm. flaky meat. Mm-mm. Mm, babe. It is moist. Tender. Ju it's really good. This is really good. That lemon just hit it up too. That garlic, it takes all the flavors. I have this piece of skin. Sorry for spraying. Mm. Let me taste it. Mm -hmm. Let me get in here, guys. Oh, man. Guys, see what it is? Look yeah, at that's it. good. Nice white meat. Striped Fresh, bass baby. Is. Look at that, guys. Fresh. It was just swimming. <laughs> fresh, fresh. Mm, mm. Oh. This is what I love about your job. Mm. Mm -mm. I love this, Captain Mike. Yo, this is really good. Mm, mm. And that hit of cayenne pepper. Oh, yeah. That really did it. But here you go, guys. Another video. I'm going to ask you guys, if you like what you see, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, guys, we always ask for you to please subscribe. Here you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed night. Later. Later.